you. Excellent. We are live on Facebook. We are having a wonderful conversation to celebrate the launch of our new book, The Anatomy of a Book. My name is Sierra Melker. I'm the founder of Red Thread Publishing, and this is the first of several conversations we're having with many of the contributing authors today. Megan Jackson's joining us. Good morning, Megan. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? I'm pretty groovy, actually. I'm also caffeinated, so that helps. Um, <laughs> I love that we made a book together. Um, I always talk about books being uh, gifts to the world and getting to do that with other people is just so much cooler. Um, it's still a lot of work, but it's so much more fun to, to write and publish in collaboration. Um, I wanna talk about three things just lovely quick. Um, first of all, what does it mean for you personally? And as you've witnessed, you work with uh, authors in lots of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, so you've witnessed people becoming published authors, but I wanna hear about your own personal experience, whether this is the first time or various times, what does it mean for you to be a published author? Um, honestly, it's a, it's a pretty cool experience. You know, when you grow up as a child being a huge bookworm, um, and reading all the time, you never really think that you may be a published author, but then you start working with authors and you help them get published. And so it's definitely a surreal experience to do it yourself. Um, and I think this was a great way to start by doing a collaborative project, um, because it's not so overwhelming that you feel like you have to, you know, share your whole entire life story and pour it into a, a you know a memoir or, or something like that so this was a great experience and it's definitely surreal and super exciting um to see my name in print um as a published author so that's really awesome isn't that fun yes. yeah um and there it is i Yay. read your chapter yesterday <laughs> reread your chapter yesterday um awesome. we wrote this book um for a lot of reasons, mm -hmm. but there's so many pieces, as you know, there's so many pieces that go into creating a book because you work with authors all the time. Yes. And I, I think one of the main things that people do is they, they go in thinking, I have to do this all myself. Yes. And we wrote this book for all those aspiring authors, even published authors who now have a book out and they're like, well, no one's buying my book or no one's reading my book. And I poured my heart and soul, like you said, into something, what am I doing wrong? Yes. This is that like, here's the collective wisdom and insight of people who do this for a living yes. um, for the writing part, the publishing part and the marketing part. Tell us about how you support authors and, and let's talk a little bit about your chapter. We're not gonna give away all the insights because you're actually gonna have to read the chapter, um, but how do you work with authors? Yeah, so um, I work with authors in, in a lot of ways. My first love and my first passion is the editing process of a book. Um, I love taking someone else's story, their heart and soul and just getting it ready for to be put out in the world, you know, being playing even a small part in helping to polish it and to get it to be, you know, relatable and professional and to sound amazing um, that truly reflects how the author really feels in their heart about their story that they have to tell. Whether that's fiction or nonfiction or memoir, it doesn't matter. It comes from their heart and their soul. And I just love playing a small part in and helping to get it out into the world. Um, I also help with marketing plans for books for um, bestseller launches. I also will help the help my clients get their books in front of retailers and um, on podcast and speaking appearances through you know pitching methods and things like that. Um, and so I do. I definitely you know am involved in a lot of parts of the process, but I'm completely in love with what I do. And um, I've really found 
found a, a passion for helping others tell their story and helping others get their stories out into the world. Um, and I've, I've met some really amazing people that have amazing stories and I'm just so grateful that I get to do this. So. Yeah. It's, it's an amazing process watching people with stories. Mm -hmm. Some the writing process even is the discovering of what you have to say for a lot of people. It's, Oh, they, oh, there's the story. You have to dig in a little bit. Um, I was on a call with our writers community yesterday and we were talking about the editing process. Um, sort of, we should read and edit our own work, but then no matter how good we can get it, we always need someone else. Right. Because right. for the same reason, we can't really see ourselves the way other people see us. We can't really edit our own work to the final stage, whether it's that typo that you can't see because you've looked at it 3,700 times or just the, the way that the story is put together, it makes sense to you, but we need like a little bit of something to take it to the next level. So you're too close. Um, to it. Yeah. yeah. You're too close to it. It's too and, close to and this is the, this goes back to something we said already is if you think you have to do every piece of this yourself, you can't, you cannot do every piece of this process well. That for the sheer, um, the sheer fact that we need an outside perspective, whether it's in that editing process, even the books that we're publishing for people who are editors, right? Yeah, yeah. If you sure. need someone else, even if this is your exact field of expertise, you still can't do that thing for yourself. That we need collaboration um exactly. and and so that's what this the book itself is a collaboration and the book sort of we wanted our readers to feel like they're friends with the 20 authors here that you get to know them that they're on your team that you can reach out to them and say like hey i've got this far what's the next step or can we work together or help me make this story come to life. Um, and it's called The Anatomy of a Book because writing requires your whole heart and soul, a whole lot of brain and intellect. And then the act, like your hands are how we give this gift to a person. Um, what was your writing process in the, in the creating of your chapter? What, what did that, teach you? What did you learn? What was fun? What was horrifying? What was that process? Yeah, well, you know, I think that everyone at some point has imposter syndrome. You know, you feel like I don't have anything to give. I'm not an expert. You know, we all we all have thought that at one point or another. So this was definitely a transformative process for me to really believe that I, you know, could could draw on my experience to offer something useful to aspiring authors. And also I went back to my school days and I shorthanded an outline of my chapter um, like I used to do. And that was really helpful for me to get my thoughts organized. Um, and I knew that the editor would take care of any sort of out of line things. And so I wasn't, you know, I didn't stress about it too much as far as that definitely helped me get organized um, of how I wanted to lay the chapter out. And then I just, I just cranked it out. You know, I just, you know, I just followed the guidelines I'd set. And um, that was really helpful to have it broken down and to do it little by little instead of trying to do it all at once. Yeah. And I love that you just mentioned when you know that someone else is helping, when you know there's somebody else on the team, imposter syndrome and perfectionism are like, they're demons that love to play together and then like nothing happens but when you're like I have something to share and someone's gonna make it sound as smart as I actually feel or sometimes want to be I don't have to do this all again I don't have to do this all by myself because there's gonna be somebody else who can catch the thing that's you would catch too if it weren't your writing right exactly um, so I can't wait for people to read your chapter and some of the other chapters. Your chapter is called Book Marketing 101, Ways to Promote Your Book and Hit Bestseller, which is super important. And you touch on a lot of the, the elements because it's not, book marketing is not just after the book's 
published, right? Yes, it's, it's a lot it's of stuff before. A <laughs> lot of stuff before. And, and I think that's just such an important piece for people to have in mind throughout the, even the writing process before they officially start the publishing process, but certainly in the publishing process, a lot of those publishing decisions and who you partner with and are you making your cover on, on Canva or are you yeah. offering somebody <laughs> yeah. $38 on Fiverr? Um, yeah. And if you are, you, the quality will reflect exactly. the result. Um, but what I love also is that every single one of those components, even after the book comes out, can be tweaked, right? We can sort of iterate, even after a book is out, you could, sure, you could change the cover and see what happens. Does it change your sales? Sure, you can change your book description. You can, you know, tweak all the things because if, if this is a living, breathing creature, once it's out in the world, it, it can re-express itself. Um, so I, I loved, um, how you laid out, here are the various things that you should know. Um, when I, the, the, <laughs> we're getting a lot of feedback about this book already from the people who have read it and the common, um, it's not even the criticism, but it's like, the only thing I wish this book could have done differently is like come out before I published my book. <laughs> yes. Right? So yes, and- here you go for all those people who either want to like revise their book or have a book coming out. Yeah. And I know you, Sierra, have had success with a book that you published like last year has the sales have gone up again. I mean, you can always remarket your book, even the book markets itself. If you do certain things, um, you know, differently that you didn't do when the book first came out. So um, there's always, there can always be a change in tide. Um, And I hope that this book is really helpful for anyone in whatever process, whatever part of the process they're in. Um, pre pre published pre pre writing um, post publish and even if it's a book that's been out you know for for a while I hope that it's helpful for yeah. for anyone. Well, because it's never over, right? right. Um, it's over when you stop. Actually, it's over when you stop trying. Right. Um, but it's never over. So uh, thank you for being the first of our many guests who's going to be joining us in the next couple of days. Our book is available for pre-order. Grab your copy now. It will hit stores and digital devices on Tuesday, November 16th. So get your pre-order copy now and it'll be available for the whole world in a week. Cannot wait to share this with the world. Megan, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. And as always, I am Sierra Melker from Red Thread Publishing. This is the story behind the story. See you next time.